Hello again, it's me, Mr. Proft, coming to you from my guest bedroom here in beautiful, sunny Santa Monica, California. And we're gonna do another little story time like we do. I have another story. It's the latest installment in the uh, Chip and Josh saga. Uh, I'm gonna read the story to you. I need you to listen very closely to the details in the story. Who's the character? What are they doing? and uh, I will ask you some questions at the end. So be sure to pay very close attention to the story that I'm reading because like I said, I will be asking you some questions and I'm looking around right now trying to find the questions and here they are, right right, right here. Uh, looking at myself in the video, my gosh, I didn't shave. Oh, I look so ratty, I'm sorry about that. But um, just imagine that I'm clean shaven right now. All right. So here's the story. The story is called Josh Takes a Bath. Remember, Josh was the name of the rat character in some of the stories we were reading. I think the cat's name was Chip. So we're talking about Josh, and the story is Josh Takes a Bath. <clears throat> After three days of pouring rain, it finally stopped. The kids are all excited to finally be able to go outside and play. Josh heads over to the park, hoping the kids will have some snacks. He sees a half-eaten banana on the ground. There is a huge puddle in the middle, so he walks on a balance beam over to get it. Just as he is scurrying across the beam, he hears his name, Josh. Josh turns his head to see Chip and loses his balance. He falls right into a huge muddy puddle. Chip hurries over laughing at the muddy rat. Josh is not happy. He does not like to be messy. Chip says, maybe you can sneak into an apartment and get a bath. Josh agrees. He sneaks into the first floor apartment and heads straight for the bathroom. He looks at the big tub and realizes that he does not know how to turn on the faucet. So he walks to the kitchen. There is a big cup full of water. But Josh thinks, I don't think I can fit in there, and it's too tall, and I might get stuck. Josh leaves the apartment and walks down into the alley. He has an idea. I don't think I can fit in there. I'm sorry, I, I got, a little, got a little distracted here. Um, Josh leaves the apartment and walks into the alley. Then he has an idea. He sees a lid that had fallen off a trash can. It had turned upside down during the big rainstorm, and now it's filled with water. Josh belly flops into the lid full of water with a big splash. He swims around doing the backstroke and then floating on his back. He is having so much fun. Finally, his fur is mud free. He hops out of the trash can lid and goes back to the park to dry off. The sun is shining brightly now. He finds a nice sunny spot on the sidewalk. He is so warm and comfy that he starts to fall asleep with dreams of a swimming pool of his own one day. Okay, very cool. So that was the story about Josh taking a bath. Were you paying attention? Were you? Well, we'll find out because I'm gonna ask you a couple questions here and you're gonna tell the answers to your learning buddy. Uh, first of all, how did Josh get dirty? What did Josh do that made him all dirty? Tell your learning buddy, wherever they are. Okay. So Josh got dirty because he fell into a puddle. Where does Josh find to take a bath? At the very end of the story, where does Josh go to take a bath? He found uh, a trash can lid that was upside down. Imagine this is a trash can lid. So he found a lid that was upside down and filled with water because it had been raining. And that's where he went and took a bath. So in the story, it says that he swims around doing the backstroke and then floating on his back. What does backstroke mean? Josh is doing the backstroke. What is that? The backstroke is uh, a way you can swim while laying on your back. You kind of go, wah, wah, wah. You, that's the backstroke. You're lying flat on your back, but you're still swimming. Um, and we know that because it also talks about in the story that he's laying on his back. 
after Josh got out of the lid, it says that his fur was mud free. What does that mean? Mud free. He got out of the lid and now he was mud free. What do you think that means? Mud free means that there was no mud on him. Uh, in English, if we say something free, it means you don't have that thing. Like if you were uh, carefree, it means you don't have any care. If you're worry free, it means you're not worried about anything. Mud free means no mud on him. Uh, when Josh found a sunny spot on the sidewalk, the story says that he was so warm and comfy uh, what other words does the author use for comfy? So it says that he was really warm and comfy. What's another word that means comfy? So if you had to tell me, oh, I feel so comfy, but you wanted to use a different word other than comfy, what would you use? What's another word that means comfy? Cozy, comfortable, snuggly, I guess. Uh, why does Josh lie in the sun? He got out of the, out of the lid. Why did he go lie in the sun? To dry off. Um, and okay, I think that's, that's where we're going to stop there. I think that's enough. And so we heard a story about Josh. Now in another slide after this one, there's going to be a short decodable version of the story, which you need to read to your learning buddy. So you just heard me read, you answered my questions. Now, the next thing you need to do today is you need to read that decodable story to your learning buddy. Can you do that? Yes, you can. All right, so on behalf of myself and Miss Dano, thank you for watching and keep moving forward.